Well, good. Hello, everybody. We have made it to the next park, and it is Paul Bunyan Land. Uh, this park, it's uh, near Brainerd, I think is how you pronounce it, Minnesota. And uh, it's all themed to Paul Bunyan. And here is, I think the guy's name is Babe, the blue ox, I think, or cow. And this thing is huge. I come up to like right between the, like pretty much to the stomach. Let's go in. That giant chain. The Paul Bunyan size chain. Also here in Paul Bunyan land they have this uh, I guess kids casino. And you can win a Paul Bunyan coin. Which I kind of want. <laughs> and it's uh, $3 so it's kind of pricey. And it has a little lever you could pull so that's awesome. Alright let's pull the crank. Pull the lever! I did it. Got the official Paul Bunyan Land coin. So there is a giant Paul Bunyan you could talk to. I love it. And here's some of the rides. There's the roller coaster. Gotta get on that. So here's the rest of the park. They have a good amount of rides here. I'm surprised. I love the ride operator. The kid, this kid keeps asking how many times it goes around, the Ferris wheel goes around. He's like, I don't know. He asked him like three times, and the ride operator kept saying, I don't know. So this Ferris wheel, holy crap, this thing went, yeah. goes pretty fast. I was surprised how fast that thing goes. But look at all these old school rides. I love it. And they have a magnetic mine shack over there, gotta do that. It looks like a ghost mine over there, gotta do that. Wow, there's so much to do here. So it does seem like this place is more geared for the younger crowd. But at least adults can for sure ride the kiddie coaster here. So you do, you do get a uh, you do get a plus one credit. Those airtime hills was pretty good.
Okay, so holy crap, this roller coaster is crazy. <laughs> it almost starts off like a launch up the hill. The, the lift hill is so like quick for a kitty coaster. And it's janky, but fun. <laughs> it's a fun kind of jank. It's so awesome. <laughs> it's like just yank you up there. I love it. I do kind of wish you can see the coaster a little bit better from the main midway. Most people, they can't really see like how much of a roller coaster actually is a roller coaster. Anyway, let's go explore more of the park. Alright, gonna do the magnetic mine shack. It's kind of like a fun house. Just ring the train bell and an attendant will admit you into the magnetic mine shack. Wow, it's By the way, the super crooked. Watches, and it's so dark, my eyes haven't adjusted yet. Oh my god. So here you can roll, it looks like the, you're rolling the ball up the hill. And then this chair. I've heard if you sit on it, it swings back the other way, almost slamming you into this wall. So let's go give it a try. Hello. Yeah, this chair is dangerous. So if you sit on it, it swings around. And you will smack into this wall because it's crooked. plays with you. Since I don't know where to go. Is this one way? Oh, we push. Okay. I didn't even see. This sign is so so like dark. He has to push and open the door. Ah. So I think if you sit on this chair. I don't know, but, I have to. but this one looks like it might rock back or go forward. Whoa, jeez. This chair. This chair is freaky because it tilts backward. Okay, that's a fun one. Now I know I, I won't fall backwards. That's cool. And then this one would be hard to push back because it's leaning forward. <laughs> Whoa. Are you doing? Sorry. Are you taking a video? Yep. So this is a kind of like a mirror maze. I can speed run this. So freaky. That looks like we're in a cave. Whoa, that's kind of weird. It really plays with your uh, sense of uh, balance. Excuse me. So for the ghost mine, you gotta push this button for attendant to go in. Let's give it a try. I am okay. Tonight is the curious thing. 
things have happened in this here hole. Who she? Hang on, that's how she moves. How do we go? This hard thing we got to do is all the way. You can break the open eyes. You hear bells clang like that every hundred feet down. Two hundred feet, this is a speed. Ghost mine was a lot of fun. Uh, it's kind of like a poor man's Tower of Terror sort of, but you don't really drop. So you get in this little like shaft elevator thing, like big elevator, kind of like uh, Gringotts, and you have uh, two little windows you look out, and the elevator does shake around a little bit. Uh, and as you're shaking around, you see the the windows you look out of, you see like rocks almost. So it looks like you're traveling deep underground. Uh, then you get to the bottom, and you actually see the the opposite doors open, and you see like a uh, mine shaft where it's like you see two skeletons and they're dead and then it closes and you're supposedly going down even deeper but you know something happened and like it gets it, they could get really scary it, it's really loud in there you hear like you know things hitting the wall of the uh the elevator so it's kind of like i guess a mine collapse and it gets really loud and eventually uh he takes you back up quick to get back up so that was pretty much it cool ride And this ride does have a narration to it so it's kind of fun it kind of reminded me of uh what's it called uh what's that one ride uh journey to the center of the earth in tokyo disneyland uh disney sea during the uh the pre-show when you're taking the elevator down to the ride path so that's kind of neat this kind of looks like a norman bates house house that space shuttle kind of reminds the font kind of looks like a, like a barbie font
Okay. So I did the little swing thing over there. Uh, I thought it would be a little bit better than it actually is. It was kind of awkward, but still not terrible. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I could see Paul Bunyan. So this is kind of cool. They have a Paul Bunyan's tricycle here and his uh, wagon. Here is the Paul Bunyan. <laughs> so this is their Paul Bunyan animatronic. Got Babe's treats here and his giant feet. Mr. at Paul Bunyan Land, my land, <laughs> it's our 20th season. I've been at this location 20 years. You betcha. I love the random owl. Man, this Paul Bunyan's humongous. <laughs> Here's a big smile. <laughs> I love it. Welcome. And hey. here's a big wave. Oh. <laughs> so what's your favorite thing to do here at Paul Bunyan Land? Entertaining, Entertaining. <laughs> the youngsters, and sometimes the oldsters, <laughs> and especially singing. Yes, that's the way the money goes. <laughs> Up goes the weasel. <laughs> I love it. Get the sports treats here. A giant axe. Incredible. <laughs> I love it. The star attraction right here. <laughs> oh, I'm on video, eh? You sure are. <laughs> I thought so. Here's a big wave. For the video, hi everyone, I'm Paul Bunyan. The one and only. Well, the best looking one anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I love it here. So what's the story behind oh, that? I hope I left a big impression like I usually do. <laughs> oh, always, always. <laughs> always. That is right, my little friend. <laughs> anyway, it's time to head out. I love the uh, steps they have here, or his footprints, this giant squirrel. Incredible. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. <laughs> wow, it smells so old here. <laughs> but they have all these like really neat stuff. They have like a, these little dioramas you can uh, put some money in and then uh, these like animatronics will move or crude animatronics will move around. So that's kind of neat. And one of these little meter things. Test your strength and stuff like that. Oh, they have a petting zoo area. This is so cool. Wow. I have a little diorama here. Gotta pay a quarter to. For it to actually work. Very neat. So here is the chicken coop. They used to have uh, 
stuff you could do with chickens in here. So I think inside this one, you could play tic-tac-toe with a chicken. I guess over here, if you pay money, you can uh, get a chicken to give you a postcard. And over here, it looks like you play baseball with a chicken called Fat Bird. And unfortunate, well, fortunately, I guess, uh, these are no longer operating as they should. And over here is Paul's petting barn. Looks like we got a goat and a donkey right there. Two goats, actually. And the fluffiest bunny ever. Oh my goodness, you're such a floof. There's a pheasant underneath here. Looks like a cow. Baby cow over here. Look at the monkey. It's a mirror. Baby rattlers. Got the baby rattlers here. And a llama. Hello, llama. Or an alpaca, I don't know. I think it's a llama. Hello, Mrs. or little cow. They have a lot of goats here. A donkey. And Kate, the peacock. So right here, they actually have a lot of old school stuff. I guess this is like a area that they have a bunch of uh, stuff in. Very old school. Wow, it smells really old in here. Very musty. I love it. There's so much old stuff in here. Like, I wonder whose like trophies these are. Probably like the owners or something like that. Very cool. Really old school skis and boat parts. Got Paul Bunyan's shopping cart <laughs> next to a tiny shopping cart. And then, uh... Oh, Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> that was a butterfly. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Jeez. Anyway, a bunch of uh, nursery rhymes in here. And then we have this old farm. 50 acres of history and future. So this is neat. They have a bunch of like old school buildings you can all walk into and they have a bunch of like old antique stuff in here. Very cool. Got the fire station. Whoa, that's cool. I guess you could walk all the way behind it. Very neat. Got an old Amico sign. Oh, <laughs> Dalmatian, of course. Very neat. I guess you can walk through it, yeah. Otherwise, you put a. Wow, so much stuff in here. This park is really weird. But cool. It's a cool weird. Very unique. So many antiques. There are so many buildings here to explore. I think you could look in like every one or walk in, maybe at, at least look in every single one of these buildings. Wow. <laughs> There's so much to do here. Like you could go inside any building you choose or maybe at least look in. Like right here is a uh, Rad's groceries. Wow. I guess her name is that I guess that's Rad. Got your bread. Wow, old school like Butterfingers and Hershey's. So much old school stuff. Whoa, there is so much stuff here. Holy crap. This is overwhelming. And it's so eerily quiet. Just so much random stuff. And it has like, I don't think there really has anything to do with Paul Bunyan. Salt and pepper shakers? I actually went to a museum of salt and pepper shakers in uh, 
Gatlinburg. So they would love this. More salt and pepper shakers. This is insane. <laughs> There's so many buildings to go into. Oh, and these are restrooms. <laughs> Wow, so overwhelming. Just so much stuff to look at here. Like every single building. This music's kind of weird, but wow. <laughs> I love the hundred dollar bill right there, that's fake. Just, wow, so much stuff to look at. Like, I, you could spend a whole day here just like really going into these buildings and like looking at every little single thing. It's so fascinating. Like, it's really like so much stuff here. Whoa. This is so overwhelming. Like, wow. <laughs> Just insane how much stuff there is in here. And this is just one of the built, like one of the buildings, and there's so many more. I, I I don't even think I went through half the buildings yet, and there's so many. Oh, so literally this is a old school sled. So it's used on the prairies of Saskatchewan, Canada, to transport children to school. So the horses would pull them, and the kids would sit in here, and they have a little furnace to keep them warm. Wow. Very neat. And there's like a torpedo or like a bomb here right in front of the uh, church and the schoolhouse. This place is so random. I love it. So much. Whoa. Wow. Insane. Oh, and here was the old train station that was used in the movie Iron Will. So this is the set that they used. Very neat. Oh, here's the cassette tapes. <laughs> That's neat. Wow. So much stuff here. Very neat. All right, going to go down this road to check out all the random buildings just so overwhelming just the amount of stuff they have here let's go in building 31 looks like this is oh geez <laughs> dr quinn medicine woman interesting just so much stuff in here i got all the teeth in the back over there These are some really creepy looking uh, wheelchairs for kids in like the 50s. And look at all these typewriters up there. And I think this might be a printing press or something, I don't know. Wow. I'm actually shocked there aren't as many like bugs around here. <clears throat> like I'm sure they are, there are, but they, for what's in here, it's relatively clean. <laughs> Got the beauty shop and the boutique. Here's the beauty salon area. Just insane how much stuff there is here. I love it. Very cool. Like you see their passion in collecting this stuff. All these antiques. Wow, look at all these cameras. Someone should hide a uh, 
present day camera in here. <laughs> Whoa. Some of these are really old. It'd be funny to see like a GoPro hidden around here. And 35. This is cool. It's like you never know what you're gonna see. Whoa, all these eight tracks and vinyls. Very neat. Wow, and all these like instruments here. Very cool. So this is the toy section at the workshop and all items are handmade by Richard Raid Mocker. Interesting. What's this? Wow, so many toys. And a wasp that got stuck in here. This is really neat, like this little Christmas setup. Very old school. Got a bunch of tractors over here. Old fire engine. So here's the other rest of the park down here. And we have a uh, Paul Bunyan land uh, tram. So I'm assuming they might have had uh, at one point like tram rides around this area. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I could go that way. Looks like someone's trying to start some kind of vehicle over there. <laughs> and the employees. I love the employees here. They're all wearing like a... Uh, uh, like highly visible vests so it's kind of funny to see but that's kind of neat you could really point them out you like if you're trying to look for an employee they really stand out which is nice got some employees over there uh petting some of the animals I guess they're on break and uh oh also one funny thing is i called them to ask if i could you know if gopros are allowed on the rides and they are but uh <laughs> Uh, when you're calling them, they would talk to you on the, uh, what's it called, on the uh, phone and the, their automated messages would be like, you know, press zero to talk to a lumberjack. So I thought that was kind of funny, you know, how uh, the employees here are called lumberjacks. Very neat. Like this almost feels like a backstage area. Like I'm not supposed to be here. But it's very neat though. And they have a lot of room here too. To expand put more buildings here very cool here is the general store oh well wow. mini donuts are half price right now i may get some on the way out but yeah, with, I love the announcements they make around here. It kind of reminds me of like Simpsons. Like, you know, one of those Simpsons parody theme parks where they make announcements, like the funny announcements. Really reminds me of that. I love it. So in here we have, oh, some military stuff. And uh, I think these are all, yeah, these are all uh, real stuff that people either donated or actually war maybe some of the family members war that's kind of neat the thunderbirds signed that oh wow we have an old school flight simulator very cool wow these like bomber jackets so much history in here This is neat. Got a little train set here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's working. Wow. All on the walls. That's crazy. It does kind of stink the sets aren't working. That would be really cool. Got the little tiny towns. Oh, that's cool, they have a little mini Mount Rushmore over there. Got a cotton candy ice cream and a Powerade while I enjoy the old school photos of the park. 
Very cool. I love this little kangaroo trash can. And apparently this building was the old, like a haunted house. So that's kind of neat. Such a nice park. I actually like it. It's pretty, pretty chill. And had a lot of old school rides here. I love the um, scrambler is a sourdough mixer here. So it's like themed to like, I guess making bread or pancakes or whatever. Let me see if I can get on the train. If it's operating. Have a great trip and thank you for riding the Paul Bunyan Land Express. All aboard! Top the super slide have great views of 
the rest of the park. Uh, I guess I'll go in the middle. Red means it goes fast. So I did the super slide, pretty fun, but didn't get much airtime on it, unfortunately. So it's not as good as the one in uh, Arnold's Park. That one is better. Uh, let me see if I could wait for a ride up to ride the space shuttle. Right now I have about 20 minutes till the park closes. No, 25 minutes till the park closes. I'm gonna explore that building, see what's in there. It says open, but I don't know what's in there. And then there's a candy store over there I wanna browse. I think I should be good. Whoa! That was a big hit. It looks like these uh, bumper cars are pretty nice. I do like this little mister thing. That's great for uh, a hot day like this. But it's not as hot as Atlanta. Dang, I had some trash earlier and I kind of regret not holding on to it and keeping it for some of these trash cans that have uh, the themed trash cans that have a uh, like the faces and all everything on them. So that's a shame. <clears throat> so one thing that kind of stinks is they do do they do do uh, ride rotation. So like uh, the ride operators rotate from ride to ride. So sometimes you gotta wait. So I'm assuming I am waiting for the Dodge and ride up to come over here, possibly. the space shuttle that was actually a lot of fun got a zen ride on it that was a good that was a fun time you actually get a tiny 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 bit of weightlessness on that if you're sitting on the ends very nice so there's the little swinging ride in action you really gotta like throw your weight into it what is this now Oh, so it looks like it's a, uh... <clears throat> oh, a little arcade game thing. So over there you can take your old-timey photos. So here are some arcade games. Oh, wow. Really old-school arcade games. Wow, that's a giant teddy bear. It's taller than me. And then you get your uh, high pockets. <laughs> Old school uh, ski ball. This is really neat. All these dioramas. Very cool. So that about does it for my time at Paul Bunyan Land. It was a blast. Uh, the candy store is just a candy store and they don't kick cash. Oh, they only take cash, unfortunately. But such a great park. I love it. Uh, very chill, very relaxing vibe. Very old school vibe. You know, I love the Paul Bunyan over there. 
It is just great. I love it. Anyway, time to pay the gift shop a visit. I love these shot glasses. These are Paul Bunyan shot glasses. Ew. Paul Bunyan size shot glasses. Yes. Got the Paul Bunyan, the jack, so that's iron burner, and uh, ink you think Ben have a that's amazing. I love it. There's a lot of cool stuff. This is what I'm getting. Pub onion shirt and a magnet. Well, I had a blast at Paul Bunyan Land. This place was great. Very, very unique park. Um, really enjoyed my time here. Unfortunately, they did run out of uh, the half price mini donuts. <laughs> but, you know. It's all good. Very, very good park. Very nice park. Very unique. I love it. Definitely a fun, fun, fun park to do. I'm actually glad I actually got to come here and do it. Very nice. Don't regret it at all. Anyway, time to head out. Later, Paul Bunyan Land.